Hello everyone, I am Anirban Chandar and I am here to present over the topic state of the art of manufacturing of metal foams and their further processing. This is a review article submitted at AIM TDR 2021. I am a PhD scholar and working under the supervision of Dr. Shitanshu Shekhar Chakravarti. Uh, I am registered under ACSIR which stands for Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research. Metallic foams have become an attractive research field both from a scientific viewpoint and the prospect of industrial application. This is mostly because these materials exhibit many unusual combinations of physical and mechanical properties. For instance, these materials can be used for applications where lightweight and high stiffness are desired. At the same time, it can also be utilized for applications where energy absorption or acoustic absorption is of concern. These properties are mostly derived out of its porous cellular structures and low solid volume fraction, which is usually less than 30%. The most common method of preparing this material is shown in the animation, wherein certain blowing agents are being subjected to molten aluminium pool. These blowing agents get decomposed in situ. As a result, the final product, that is the metal foam, have pores within it. Further, this metal foam can be sandwiched in between two solid sheets for better stability and strength. Based on solid volume fraction, metal foam is usually classified as open cell metal foam as shown in left and closed cell metal foam as shown in right. In case of open cell foams, there are just edges and no spaces over the membranes, whereas in case of closed cell foams, there are membranes that cover the faces of the cell. Irrespective of their classification, these materials are considered as bending dominated structure. That is, this material deform at constant stress post elastic limit. In order to realize the significance of metal foam in current industrial arena, it's important to understand what properties this material has to offer. It's lightweight, it's porous, it exhibits high compressive strength as well as low thermal conductivity, owing to which this material exhibits multifunctional capabilities. In order to realize how metal foam offer higher flexural rigidity with reduced weight, one can compare a solid rectangular block with hollow rectangular block and hollow circular block. Based on its property, certain survey reports predict that the metal foam utility is going to increase in coming years mostly in automotive and aerospace industries. Moreover, a surge in metal foam market is expected to increase between the year 2018 to 2022. With growing popularity of metal foam, various methods for making these materials are available as shown in the figure. Some techniques start from specially prepared molten metals with adjusted viscosities. Such metals can be formed by injecting gases or by adding gas releasing blowing agent that decompose in C2 causing the formation of bubbles. Yet a further class of techniques also called powder metallurgical method begins with solid precursor containing a blowing agent. This can be prepared by mixing metal powders with a blowing agent compacting the mix and then forming the compact mix by melting. Further, metal foam can also be uh, processed using additive manufacturing method with greater accuracy, pore morphology and distribution. Prima facie, solid state foaming techniques might seem much developed techniques with greater control over pore morphology and distribution. Yet, this processes lacks the capabilities of generating metal foam in large volume. On the contrary, liquid state foaming, though doesn't provide such accuracy or control over pore morphology, yet they are capable of developing metal foam uh, at large volume with consistent relative density. Metallic foams processed by liquid state processors are mostly aluminium foams as shown in the figure 
and it has quite often found application in automobile industries and aerospace industries for impact absorption and load bearing structures as shown in the video further it also finds its applications in defense as shown in the figure where a latest navy ship deck was made of synthetic foams further it can also be used as bulletproof armor as shown metal foams processed by solid state processes are usually open cell foams and are used as heat exchangers or as vibration dampeners or as filters but mostly these materials are limited to functional applications the currently existing processing methods is incapable of developing near net shift part or develop metal foams in large volume as for it might be difficult for them to meet up with current industrial standard thus a possible solution is to produce metal foam in more generic shapes and then further process it in order to shape as per the desired application in order to utilize the generic shape of metal foams as discussed earlier it's very important for these materials to undergo processes like forming joining and cutting but unfortunately it was found metal foams owing to its high moment of area and low tensile strength tend to fail under conventional manufacturing processes as for laser processing method which utilizes heat source instead of mechanical loads for processing material was found to be advantages the commonly used laser processing methods for metal foam includes laser forming which utilizes non uniform heating by laser to form the material by inducing non uniform strain and thus eliminating the threat of mechanical stresses next is laser welding which also utilizes localized heat of laser to join two materials the process is capable of developing narrow heat affected zone and thus can be very beneficial for metal foams laser cutting is also a process which can be very beneficial for metal foam because the process is capable of developing burl free and very narrow curve cuts recently fabrication of metal foam was reported by utilizing friction steer processing friction processing was used to fabricate solid centered open cell copper foam parts of different shapes and sizes sintering and dissolution with nacl spacers were used to obtain the foam parts pressure and temperature needed for sintering were obtained by plunging a rotating tool into a top sheet in the setup thus it can be concluded instead of several advantages offered by metal foam its commercialization is restricted due to the difficulties faced in tailoring its shape and size as per the desired application advanced processing techniques like additive manufacturing techniques or chemical vapor deposition offers better control on pore shape size and distribution but the major limitation is the cost involved newly arrived solid state processing techniques like friction steer processing has shown potential for increased application liquid state processing technique though is capable of generating metal foam in large volumes yet it does not provide significant control over pore morphology size and distribution conventional manufacturing processes like forming um, welding and cutting is not suitable for metal foam and it tends to fail under me mechanical loads hence forth laser processing techniques has been adopted to process this material as per the required application we acknowledge science and engineering research board for providing the financial support for this work The references utilized in the presentation is provided in this slide. Thank you.